in this video I am talking about Viltrox XF 33mm f1.4 APS-C prime lens for Fuji cameras. This is a third-party lens from a Chinese manufacturer, Viltrox, for the Fuji X mount system. There is a popular opinion that you get what you pay for and that you're always going to get the best results by using native lenses on any camera. But native lenses cost always more. So if you are budget conscious and you want to save a dollar pound or two, then you are going to look into other options. Options like this Viltrox lens. I got this lens on a loan from UK Digital for this review. So thank you very much UK Digital for making this review possible. But I must say that I am not being paid or asked to say anything specific about this lens by UK Digital, Viltrox or anyone else. So this is the truth. There is a lot of very detailed and technical reviews of this lens out there. I don't want to do another one of those and I don't want to bore you with another one of those, but I want to go through the pros and cons of having and using this lens on your Fuji camera. However, if you are using X-Pro3 Fuji camera, then this video and this lens is not for you. Due to the lens release button position on that camera, this lens will be extremely difficult to remove from the camera and it might damage the actual release button. Don't use it. If you do have X-Pro3, it probably won't come off. <laughs> it, is, it is actually absolutely fine on all other Fuji systems. The pros, the pros of this lens, the first one, it is 33 millimeter. It is actually 51 millimeter equivalent on a full frame. So you do get the perfect nifty 50 focal length on your APS-C camera. And 50 millimeter is my favorite focal length of all time. That's the truth. Another pro is certainly the price. This lens is cheaper than Fuji equivalents. The very old Fujinon XF 35mm f1.4 R is almost double the price and the new XF 35mm f2 is over 100 pounds or 100 dollars more. This retails here in UK for just over 260 pounds which is just under 300 dollars. It is well built. It is a pro. All metal construction, smooth focus ring, metal hood and smooth. Yes, smooth the clicked aperture. Seemingly great for video, which theoretically it is, but I'm gonna talk about this more when I get to the cons of this lens. Personally, I don't mind it at all, but some photographers prefer feel the clicks when changing the aperture on the lens. However, you can set the aperture to be controlled by the camera electronically instead if you don't like that smooth movement. Lens looks like it belongs on the Fuji camera and doesn't look cheap at all. The performance, the most important pro, is really good. It is truly on par with the Fuji lenses. The autofocus is quick, accurate, and it doesn't deliver any surprises. It works and it works very well. It is also super quiet. The wide aperture delivers really nice and creamy bokeh and very decent colors and contrast. The images have that Fuji legendary look and it's absolute joy to use. There is also a built-in micro USB socket for future firmware updates so you don't need to buy additional docks like with some other brands. Okay, let's go through the cons and what I don't like about this lens. There is no weather sealing, that's it. It's not weather sealed. As I've mentioned before, it is not compatible with X-Pro3 camera. Not so close focusing distance, probably the worst out of all 50 millimeter focal length lenses that I have ever used. I shoot a lot of food photography commercially with my other 50 millimeter lenses. And this one wasn't allowing me to get close enough to the plate of food. It felt different than what I am very, very used to. The minimum focusing distance is approx 40 centimeters. Well, it is 40 centimeters, maybe 39. The lens is slightly soft wide open, but this happens to more expensive lenses than this. And I don't think it's a deal breaker, but if you want absolutely pin sharp images then closing the aperture to F, 5.6 will do the trick very nicely. But what is the fun in shooting anything at 5.6? Now, let's come back to the, the clicked aperture rig. 
it's a pro and con at the same time. Although you can change the aperture smoothly and suddenly, this doesn't translate well to your footage. Adjustments show jarred and not smooth changes at all, but I experienced exactly the same issue when changing ISO while filming uh, with X-T4 uh, I've been testing it with. So maybe it is actually camera's problem and not lens related at all. But whatever it is, the clicked aperture is pretty much useless for video with this lens. The worst con for me is that atrocious chromatic aberration. It's not as huge problem when shooting photos as most of the time, as most of the time it can be corrected in post, but it is very pronounced when filming at wide apertures. Pretty much anything from f1.4 to f4 will display some kind of chromatic aberration on the high contrast parts of your shots. So apart from a bit of chromatic aberration and not so smooth aperture or ISO changes when filming, this lens is very capable of delivering solid results. The aperture issue is easily fixable by using variable ND filter, so you can control the brightness of the footage without actually adjusting the aperture at all. Overall, great everyday use focal length for run and gun video work, and that's certainly a pro, not a con here. So who is this lens for? This is a great upgrade from the standard kit lens. Especially at this price, it is a great stepping stone from the standard kit zoom to the world of primes and the wide aperture, blood backgrounds and creamy bokeh. It is great value for money and probably one, one of, if not the cheapest autofocusing prime you can get for Fuji X mount. This lens works well and is not inferior from Fuji equivalent. It's not a lens that you should be scared to attach to your expensive Fuji camera. I personally had really good time using it and I really think that it is good enough for professional photography and video work. Well, well done, Phil Trucks quite impressive and this is it from me i hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please give me the thumbs up uh, share it with your friends well why not <laughs> and if you like this kind of content uh, cameras lenses photography uh, video reviews tutorials please consider subscribing and thank you for watching and i'll see you next time the worst con for me is that atrocious chromatic <laughs> fly what the hell there is no fun in 5.6. Use it on different. Ah, oh, this is rubbish. <laughs> rubbish. It is huge value. No, it is great value for money. Done.